redefining energy return. If you've been seeing awesome AI videos like this, specifically for VO3, I change lanes with candy canes, don't call me insane. Performance. Chances are they were created by using a JSON prompt. But what exactly is that? And what does JSON even mean? Now we'll get to that in a second. But if you want to create videos like these, but you can't because it's just too confusing, well, no worries. Because today I'm going to give you everything that you could possibly need. And you won't even have to learn how to use JSON formatted prompts. Prompts, and that's because of the prompt generator I'm giving you today. Actually, prompt generators with an S because we're actually giving you more than one. Right, Eric? That's true. I'm giving you multiple prompt generators. These prompt generators are going to break down your prompts in the JSON key value pairs. All you have to do is just simply state what you need. So again, what exactly does JSON mean? JavaScript object notation. So let me go ahead and just break this down in the layman's terms. And Gemini actually did a very good job. Now, again, as a reminder, I'm giving you prompt generators today to where you don't even need to know how to format correctly, you can just simply use these prompt generators. However, it is helpful to know the basics of this format. You have curly braces, quotes, colon, and then commas. It tells you exactly when to use each item. And here is a very simplified version. What we're first going to use are these curly braces. This is going to be saying that here is the introduction to my prompt. Start the process. When the prompt and information is done, you simply close it off by utilizing another brace like this one right here. Everything is in quotation marks. The label is going to be gift one, quotation marks. Use that colon because that then signifies that the next thing coming up is going to actually be the next thing or the subject that you want. Also in quotations, comma to signify we're moving on to the next item. Now, as I continue to scroll, now you can see a real prompt example right here. OK, the brace signifies we're starting the process. Here's my prompt quotation marks, colon, simple. Happy Golden Retriever Puppy. That's all you have to say right now, because then we're going to go ahead and add a comma and then identify the scene. Now, I asked Gemini, what confuses me is when they use these braces. Why do you have a brace at the start, but also within the body? And this is a very good explanation right here. Think of the braces as Lego boxes. Imagine you have a giant Lego box. That is your main open and closed brace. Why a box inside of a box? Now, inside your giant Lego box, you don't want to just throw all the pieces together, right? That'd be a mess. You're super organized. So you use the smaller boxes to keep those special pieces together, hence, this example right here, which then brings us to a very good question. Why exactly would we even want to use a JSON formatted prompt? First of all, we're going to get amazing structure, organization and unprecedented control over the AI video creation. Using this method creates prompt engineering pros versus just entering a basic prompt. Both work, but JSON gives you movie director level control. And so to keep things relatively simple, you want to break down your prompt in five specific ways. You're going to see exactly what I mean right now once I give you these prompt generators. Now again, why does this work so well? Because instead of saying make a video of a girl walking down the street, you're going to set it up like this over here. Your shot, medium tracking shot with a lens. Subject, young woman, black hair, red shirt. Scene, quiet street, and then finally the audio. So when it comes to creating AI video prompts, the most important thing a lot of times are going to be the specific camera movements, angles and descriptions for cinematography. And so if you have my prompts portal database, I actually have a section that has everything you would basically need. We're going to have specific camera and lenses. And then as I scroll all the way over, we're going to have what's called camera cinematography. This is going to contain all of those very valuable movement angles, descriptions and ad adjectives to really make your AI video prompts really shine. But now let's go ahead and take a look at these prompt generators. Click the links in the description for prompts database. And again, like I said, I'm going to give you multiple ones today. And as a quick reminder, all these prompts I'm sharing with you today are always available like any YouTube video, 100% free via the link in the description. And what we're going to do is actually we're going to save the best for last. Now, they're all going to be good, but let's go ahead and open up this one right here. First thing we'll do, go ahead and copy the whole entire thing in. Now with that prompt copied, let's go ahead and paste it into ChatGPT or any LLM for that matter. And simply let's just go down and see what ChatGPT says. 
drop in one or more descriptions you would like me to convert into JSON. The first thing that we can do is just give it a simple description, but what if we want actual prompt? So that's where we'll go ahead and start. So we'll start with this music video style prompt right here. <laughs> Change lanes with candy canes, don't call me insane. Go back in the chat, GPT, and now simply paste this one in. So now this first prompt generator is gonna take my existing prompt and instantly, look at this, it's gonna go ahead and convert it right here into a base JSON prompt. Then as I scroll down, here's where this really shines. We're not only gonna get one, we're gonna get two. A base one, then the next thing, now let's amplify it with realism boosted meta tokens. Now we come down here again and boom, there is another one. Let's go ahead and copy this one. Now I'll just do the enhanced version. I'll copy it and then I'll go ahead and paste this into any app that you can use VO3, whether it be Gemini, FreePick, or Leonardo AI. I'm the one they talk about, spotlight on me, no doubt. Now, down here again, it says, would you like a follow-up version using the same keys? I can switch the rapper to a rock star backstage or a pop singer in the dressing room. So that way, if you do want to change up the subject, go ahead and say that. It's going to go ahead and do the same thing again. We'll try this one out, and then we'll revisit this video again. Feel the rhythm, lose control tonight. Let the music take you high. Now, since I have multiple variations to give you, let's move on to the next prompt generator. Now, for this one specifically, I'll actually add this one in the description, but I'm not gonna demo this in real time because it's very similar to what I just showed you. Same similar process where you give it an existing prompt and this one will do the same thing again and convert it to JSON format and provide you with a second one that are gonna have those cinematography and realism tokens already built in. But I do wanna focus on these two over here. These are gonna be the most powerful ones. So again, let's come in here and copy this whole entire thing and then we answer the question down here below please describe your subject in detail let's go ahead and start this process so with this prompt it's going to ask you a few more questions you can either answer all the questions or you can just basically say surprise me and let the ai do everything for you so to make it easy let's go ahead and say surprise me you choose and generate the prompt. Because again, this could take some tedious time. Okay, beautiful. We have this one now that we're gonna go ahead and copy. But then again, the follow-up question, would you like me to generate a second version Miami Neon, Documentary, etc. Let's go ahead and say that, Miami Neon, okay? So after I say Miami Neon, again, we'll generate these videos. And since VO3 does take a little bit longer, We'll come back and we'll take a look at how good these looked. But here we are with the Miami one, and now we're gonna get this amazing prompt. Now let's take a look at how good these videos turned out. Feel the pulse. Own the night. This is beyond luxury. Okay, wow, phenomenal job. But finally, last but not least, in fact, my favorite one is gonna be this prompt generator right here. Again, copy the whole thing. And remember, it's gonna be on my website as well, specifically on my blog post page. And in all of these specific blog posts, there are gonna be a ton of prompts that you could use for yourself. Okay, now that I have that prompt copied, one more time, brand new chat. Paste this whole entire prompt in. Now again, at the very bottom, we're not gonna have to answer any questions because I actually gave specific instructions to chat GPT to skip that and then just go assertive style and go directly to just creating the prompt. So all we have to do is just provide our idea. Okay, simple. A penguin surfing on a wave, he falls off and begins to swim. Okay, now instantly we're gonna get the full Jason prompt. No need for answering any of the questions, but then it gives us, again, more suggestions. Comedy short, nature documentary, or a surreal animation. Now, let's go to the more advanced style using a nested format. But before that, let me quickly give you a preview of something I'm working on. This page right here is a fill in the blank template. And at the end, there's a formula in this column right here that will automatically take all of this collated data and information and then instantly create a full JSON prompt 
just like this. And now once this is all done, I'll go ahead and give it to everybody. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way, when I do release it, you'll know exactly how and where to get it. So the difference is, is that instead of just using an open and close brace and then everything in between, with the nested formatted version, you actually use different braces, which creates a more structured separation, letting the LLM know that this is a new section or a new characteristic for the prompt. So after all this is over, we're gonna have a lot of VO3 prompts. And so with that final prompt generator, here are some videos that turned out exceptionally well. So there you have it, four total prompt generators, three I demoed live here. That fourth one is also available via the link in the description. These four prompt generators will do all the work for you. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And remember, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.